And today, we are gonna be going through my Louis Vuitton Speedy. So we're gonna be, today is what's in my purse? Louis Vuitton Speedy. Let's see what we have here. Chewy granola bar. A fork. Cultural probiotic pills. These are um, something I take one every morning and they are really help my stomach a lot. I've been taking them for a few years now and it is the green, or I'm sorry, the purple probiotic. So it's called Digestive Health by Culturel is the brand. A tank top, it's clean. Just an extra tank top I had at work that I just brought home. Um, an open Advil container with one pill still left, which is fantastic. Which, can I go back to this for a second? I always thought that two of these pills, Two of these were one serving. Um, and then like six months or a year ago, I found out that one of these is a serving for an adult. And I'm very petite, I'm only five feet tall. So sometimes like I feel like I need to take a child's portion or maybe whatever's in between a child's portion and an adult portion, depending on the situation. I'd rather under medicate than over medicate. So I always like to err on the side of taking less medicine than, than more. Um, sometimes I don't take medicine at all and I just try to tough it out, which is kind of dumb, but you know, I just don't like taking medicine sometimes. And then other times I just go to the medicine right away and I don't even try to tough it out at all. Um, but back to what I was saying. So I thought that two pills was the recommended um, adult dose and it looks like it's actually just one of them. And that's so weird. So I've been over medicating on Advil for a long time. And like, especially over, over medicating if you think like for a petite p person, that means I should really have been taking one whenever I needed two. I mean, I would never cut this in half. I don't, I don't know what's inside. It's, it doesn't seem like one of those pills that you're supposed to cut in half. Um, that's all I had to say. It's just very random. I have an old makeup brush. It's good for blush, bronzer, um, and smoothing out any maybe uneven lines that you have. It is by Bare. Uh, can I speak? It is by Bare Essentials. I also have some blush and highlight this is by cheek leaders by um i think it's benefit yes benefit i can show them to you this one is just okay i'm not loving it i'm not obsessed with it but it's just okay here are the three colors I thought that I ordered, I got this from Sephora online and I thought I got the other one with the cookie. There's a color called cookie and it looks similar to this, but it's different. And the highlight for cookie is amazing. Okay, this is called tickle, which is weird. Let me see what the, this looks like, hold on. It's okay, it's definitely blinding, but it's just, it's no cookie. Cookie was amazing. But while I have this, let me just see. Let's see if it shows up. This is the best spot to highlight right here. You can do it with your fingers, see? Can you see it? I can't even see it. Highlight 
highlighting here and highlighting right on the tip of your nose. It's a little secret. See? It makes your nose look a little bit more perky. Just on the tip, I did too much. Hold on. If you just highlight on the tip of your nose, um, you don't want to do the whole nose because it'll just start to look greasy. But right here, in the tip of your nose, and also right there on your cupid's bow, if you want to go real crazy, you put some on your collar and you get like instant glow. You can see it on my nose right now. You can't see it anywhere else. At least I can't. Anyway, this one's not bad. It's just not what I was, it's, you know, the fact that it's in my purse, I just wanted to let you guys know that it's not like, oh my God, I love this one. It's just okay. I have my wallet. And on my wallet, I've got two hair clips and my Kroger, Kroger Plus card. My favorite lip balm, Carmex. AirPods. Some paper with some YouTube ideas and also sweatpant ideas. I'm thinking about designing um, some sweatpants or, or athleisure, and I'm just, it's just notes about it, and potentially things that I want it to say either here or maybe along the side or down in the arm or on the pant leg. So, Nothing too crazy. I like very, very simple designs. Um, I even like wearing sweats that don't have anything on them. Like, that's my preferred, wearing clothing and, and sweats that don't have anything. But if it does have something, um, like just very plain, all caps, solid color, maybe black with like neon, like a bright yellow or bright green word, which some of the words are on here, but it's, I can't show you, it's a secret. Um, I also have an emery board, which is still in the plastic. So I got it from a hotel or something. I just haven't used it yet, which is great. Um, I normally keep my nails done, so I don't need to do the emery board so much, but I am a nail picker. I don't bite them, but I pick at my nails. So having them done and manicured, it just, I just don't pick them at all. It's awesome, it's so nice. And then they look good too, it's great. Um, I actually haven't had my nails this short in over a year, maybe two years. It's so weird. I just had them, I just grew them out too long and they started to break, like they were, they were ripping um, right about here, you know, where my skin uh, meets my nail bed. And so when I got my nails done over the weekend, they cut them all so they're the same length. And I just said, just, you know, I, I didn't want to put tips on, which is what I would have normally done so that my nails were longer. But I just said, no, just do my natural nails. It's fine, they're still long. It's just weird. They're so short, I'm not used to it. They're also really dry. Okay, so I need to say, I need to tell you something. I filmed a what's in my purse at the end of October. Um, and I did it as, as part of my Halloween video. And then I tried to upload the video, which was talking about like uh, LED rope light and some other stuff. And then towards the end of that video, I did a what's, what's in my purse. Um, and editing took such a long time for that one. And I, I uploaded it to YouTube and the audio was not matching up with the video. No idea why. It was totally fine in my iCloud movie app. So 
I went back in. I, I know what happened because it, it was a certain, it's very specific point that it started, that it got off kilter and it wasn't matching up anymore. Um, and it was driving me crazy. I can't handle that. And so there was almost 10 minutes left of the video. So I went back into the edit and I swapped out what I need to swap out. Then I had to re-download it and then re-upload it. And I did that and it was it, like, they got, I got an error. It was just like really messed up. So the other part of the problem is that Halloween has already passed. And the video, it talks about holiday and Halloween, but it's like two videos in one. It's like, okay, I should have two separate videos. One about the holiday lights and the other one about what's in my purse, right? But uh, at this point, I might just like keep, do this as my what's in my purse instead, just because I don't really like, I just, I don't know. I feel like that video was just kind of weird. I just don't feel like I was that comfortable on camera and I just, it's just kind of weird. So I don't know, I might take a few pieces of that and put it into this video and have it all be what one what's in my purse and so I'm sorry if like all of a sudden it's like boom different background and I have like a different shirt on um and cat ears but I, I I'm not sure but I feel kind of silly like doing a what's in my purse again like I talked about this emery board in the other one but it just it wasn't that interesting of stuff I just I'm just trying to make content that is like entertaining and not like the most boring, painful thing ever because I don't wanna watch stuff that's boring. I don't wanna make stuff that's boring. I don't wanna edit stuff that's boring. Like I definitely don't wanna put you guys through that. Like I wanna make stuff that's like enjoyable. Like I'm not trying to make life painful for anybody. <laughs> so just a warning, you might see some of that footage in here. We'll see. We'll see. Whoa, notification central. Okay, what else is in here? I have a comb. I didn't, I didn't know this was in here. I was looking for this. Sometimes I brush my hair in the car. Like I'll be at red lights and I'll just brush my hair. It gets knotted very easily. I have extensions in case you didn't know. Um, my hair is not this long. I have a very hard time getting my hair to be past, you know, my shoulder. And it's very thin as well. So um, I started to get extensions a few months ago and so far so good. Um, they're a little annoying. It takes a long time to brush and they do get tangled quite easily, um, which is why I do tend to like having a a brush of some kind in my purse or in my car um but it's not always the same brush you know and it's so that's why i was surprised to see this one in my purse i don't remember putting it in there but it gets knotted easily so i see right now it's got a knot it gets knotted in the back in the middle of the back i know it's great great content guys great content all right, back to doing my updated what's in my purse. I do have to say while I'm doing this, I like my new background. I like that. I'm glad I went to Home Goods and got that stuff. This is from Costco. It's $20. It's a rug. That's also something I mentioned in the other video. Should I post it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really torn. All right. I have some coupons for Kroger. They give me, they send me coupons for free stuff. Not all of it, but there's sometimes like free stuff in here. So that's in there. I have a little baby mascara. It's just, um, I mean, this one happens to be Clinique, but I usually have one or two travel size mascaras just like laying around from a sample from a makeup place. If you haven't, figured out by now, I am a girly girl. Like I like hair, I like my nails, I like sparkly jewelry and decorations, I like the color pink. Um, 
and I love makeup. Like I do a full face of makeup, but I do like it to be more natural looking. Um, but I love makeup and so I'll constantly have stuff. I'm sure there are multiple, well, I already showed you one. This was the first makeup item that I showed you in my purse. This was, well, no, this was the second. This was, no, <laughs> this was the third, fourth. Okay, so we're doing a makeup count. Yes, four. All right, I have a dollar and 25 cents and quarters. Quarters I keep. Um, I don't like other change, so if I, I don't, I mean, I don't even like cash, but and I don't really use cash, but when I do use cash, if I give somebody a five and they give me a bunch of change, I will give all of the change back to them and for their, as their tip, except the quarters. Like, I don't care. I, I don't like other, ugh dimes and pennies and nickels like they drive me crazy they're heavy they're loud they're so dirty and it takes such a long time to collect all of them although i do have a full piggy bank so i need to go get that take that to the bank i mean who has time for that who remembers to do stuff like that not me that piggy bank has been full for such a long time all right there's another hair clip this is a little baby one Oh, by the way, um, my nail color is, oh my gosh, they're so dry. I need to put lotion on my hands, like ASAP. Do I have lotion in here? That would be a smart thing to have because my hands are dry all the time. No, I don't, but let me finish my thoughts. So my nails, um, the nail color, it's, so they're, it's a gel manicure. And the nail color is Let's Be Friends. It is a Hello Kitty OPI color. Um, and then on both thumbs and both ring fingers, I on top of the OPI Let's Be Friends, I have, you can't see it, can you? I can't tell if you can see it because my light is kind of blinding. Um, but there is like a, a clear, um, coat with some silver and white s glitter specks in there and that's also part of the OPI Hello Kitty collection um, and so as she was doing my nails um, I'm going like this because with gel nails you put them in the in the UV like the little like UV dome thing um, and so near the end of me doing that um, I was like oh you know I did see the glitter up front can we like, can we maybe try that? Like, what do you think? I'm like, what do you think about doing that on top? And she kind of looked at me and I was like, well, maybe we try like one nail? And she was like, yeah, let's do one. So we did one and we both really liked it. So we of course did the other hand and then I wanted more, but I didn't want to do all the nails and neither did she. So I really like her, her name is Abby, uh, because she like gives me her honest opinion. She's like, mm -mm, don't do all of them. And that's good because I was thinking that too. I was like, is all of them gonna be too much? And I was like, yeah, it's gonna be too much. And I look at her and she's like, don't do all. So um, she only wanted to do these, but I'm a little extra sometimes. Um, and so I wanted to do my thumbs too. So we did my thumbs as well. And I think it's so cute. All right, I have a bunch of papers in here. I have my badge, my office badge that I need to get into work. I've got some business cards, which I'm just leaving in here. Just, I'm not trying to expose the place that I work in any which way. Oh, here's another quarter. Yay, I'm rich. Um, I have a recipe. I printed this out because I wanna make it for you guys. Um, I mean, I make it for myself too, but this was just like my way of reminding myself. So this is, my um, a banana bread recipe that's been in my family for 20 or 30 years. Um, it's an awesome recipe and this is just it. It's called Cooper's Banana Bread, but Cooper is only six. So the recipe has been around much longer than Cooper has been around, but he kind of adopted it. So it's his recipe.
Um, in the bottom of my bag, I have a pillowcase, okay? And it's folded up. It is a thicker pillowcase. It's hardly been used. It is also thick because it's um, flannel. Um, this pillowcase I've had since I was a kid. It's part of a set by, uh, oh, I don't know if you heard that, my stomach, I'm hungry. Um, I got home from work and I have to eat dinner, but do you ever eat dinner and then you're just like tired? I figured if I'm gonna eat dinner, I'm gonna get too tired and like too chill and I'm not gonna wanna make a video. You know, I still have my shoes on. That's another thing. Like if I take my shoes off and I get too comfortable and I eat dinner, I just, I don't think I would film. Anyway, this is in the bottom because I like for my purse to be flat on the bottom. And I just don't feel like buying a purse organizer. Um, I like having the speedy because you can just dump everything into it. But I also like, I don't like that it gets really, you see that? This is the bottom. I like for the bottom to be flat. I don't like it to sag like that. So, I mean, I was just giving it a shot, just randomly like, hey, let me see what I can put in the bottom. And I put this in there and it works. So not only does it help keep it flat, but it also protects the inside in case something were to spill. So the bottom doesn't get too messed up. I love this purse. I actually, so I've been thinking about this. Like, this is definitely my favorite purse. Definitely. See how the bottom is already flat? I just threw it in there. I didn't even try that hard. I just, like, I have to fix it, but I was trying to just do it fast because I'm on camera and that's boring. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I know. Um, this is definitely my favorite purse, but I do want to say that I am more of a Louis monogram girl. Um, I like this. I, this is stunning. I love it, especially for fall. Um, I have the regular Louis Vuitton with the monogram. And you have to be so careful with the handles and with the... Um, there's a piece of leather right here connected to the zipper. You have to be so careful with it because it turns brown very, sorry, I'm hit, I'm hitting the table that my phone is on and I realize that's a bad idea. Um, you just have to be really careful with anything water, like if you have wet hands or if you're holding a drink that has any condensation on it, um, or if it's raining outside, like that's a problem. It's gonna get um, raindrops all over it and it's going to darken the leather very, very quickly. Um, in addition to that, it does darken on its own just by um, natural environment and by the oils that are in your hands. So considering I have dry hands, I'm constantly putting moisturizer on my hands. So I've done that and then I've gone to leave the house or I put the moisturizer on in the car and then I've gone to leave the car and I'm like, oh, my hands are so like, uh, like they're awesome. They're so moisturized and like, you know, kind of greasy. The moisturizer is still sinking into my hands. And I go to grab my Louie and then I like freak out and I just like, uh, I can't like, like I go to, try to show you guys and reenact okay well <laughs> so much for having um an interesting video okay <laughs> check <laughs> all right so in my car like let's pretend this is on the seat and then i go to grab it i'll take my hand and i'll try to like go through and like put my purse like on my arm somewhere that it's not like heavily moisturized um but in the summer I was moisturizing like up to my elbow. And so that really wasn't helping too much either. 
it's frustrating. So I started to like hold it like this and I just look crazy. Like who holds their purse like this? So in the fall now, it's been raining on and off. It's been raining a lot. Um, this is just so much more stress-free. Like you just grab it and go. It doesn't matter if it rains, like at all. Like I don't have to worry about a drink spilling. I don't have to worry about rain. Um, it doesn't mess up the color at all. So for that reason and that reason alone, this is my favorite handbag because in addition to, you know, just for function, because it's more, it's more, it's less, less high maintenance. No, that just means you're less maintenance. No, low maintenance, there we go. It's lower maintenance than my other Speedy, which I will show you, BRB. So this is the Speedy 25. This is the classic. It's relatively new. So the patina is still like um, very light. And you know what? I've been telling you how dry my hands are. And I am getting so up close and personal with this purse and my hands are flaking. It's, I've had really dry hands the past few weeks and I don't know why and it's really bothering me because I've been putting moisturizer and oil on and they're still like gross flaky. Like, have I not been drinking enough water? Like, have I been using a different soap? I haven't been able to figure it out but they haven't been this bad in a long time, like in years. Like I thought I, I thought I got over that. Like I thought I became an adult you know, and like realized, oh, you have to constantly moisturize your hands. Like, why are they so flaky? <sighs> you guys, I'm just having a moment. Okay, BRB again. Oh no, no, see, this is exactly the problem. Because if I do that, then I can't go and talk to you about this because my hands will be nice and oily. And that's exactly what I don't want right now when I'm touching this. See? I. I, I am speechless. This is, this is the story of my life. Okay. Anyway, this, <laughs> so stupid, you guys. This is so dumb. Okay. Um, so this is the Speedy 25 in the classic monogram. It is so cute. I think it's so cute. Okay. Um, inside it has a brown interior and it has a little zipper which I think is new I don't think they were doing that until recently all right I, inside of that oh I have a piece of gum look it's not only one what's in my purse it's two what's in my purses um, and then I just have the speedy like information and what kind of gum is this Oh, it smells good. It's extra. I don't normally buy extra. Oh, I remember who gave this to me. But I'm not gonna expose them on the air. No, it's not scandalous. I just, they didn't give me permission to talk about them, so I'm not gonna talk about them. So, anyway, this is the inside, okay. And this is the 25. Um, also, it has a small like little um I don't know what that's called it's a little hook I think it's called like a key hook maybe it's to put your keys on there I've never put my keys on there sometimes I'll put a little hair clip on there I really don't know what that's for though I have in here a receipt from Nordstrom, which is like my favorite store. Oh, you guys, I got jeans from Nordstrom recently and maybe um, I'm staring at them right now. And there are four pairs of jeans. And I don't know, I might try them on. Like, should, it, should this video be like, ugh, why is my video all over the place? It's like a what's in my purse one, what's in my purse two, and like jean haul from Nordstrom. Like, what are we doing right now? No, what am I doing right now? What is this video? What has become of this video? 
I kind of wish I was doing like a live because then you guys could tell me if I should do the jeans or not do the jeans. Anyway, uh, think about that for a second. Um, I had an unopened eyeliner. I have gum. This is the gum that I typically buy. So it's just a pack of the Orbit Green. I think it's called, it's either Spearmint or Wintermint. I think this one is Spearmint, but I don't have the outside anymore. So it doesn't tell me. Oh, here it is, Spearmint, okay. I do like the Wintermint too. Um, I have the Louis Vuitton, um, the lock in here, or no, the key. I have the lock on the outside. Here is the lock. On this Speedy, the lock is still inside. I have that in here. I did not show that to you guys. I will do that. Okay, here it is, hold on. There it is. And this one, is different. Not only is it a dark color, which I don't like, um, it doesn't match the color of the hardware. It's a darker color. I don't know if you can see that difference, but this is much brassier. And I think it's just bizarre. I feel like it looks fake or like I, something sloppy happened and I like have the wrong key with the wrong purse. This is just not a traditional Louis Vuitton color, in my opinion. Anyway, this is a different type of Louis Vuitton. Not only is the size different and the pattern different, but do you see how it has this strap here and here? And this side has a hook and a hook and the top has two zippers and the interior is red. Look how beautiful this is. This is so beautiful. I love this interior. It's gorgeous. So this Speedy, um, I'm gonna butcher the name of how to pronounce it because I, I don't know, it's like Debonet something. Um, so, but this is the Speedy Bandolier. So the Bandolier means that it has this band on the side and then the, these two hooks at the top, um, you can put, a, it comes with a strap that is a strap exactly just like that, um, a solid brown. And you can wear it across your body, cross body, or over your shoulder. Um, I have the strap in my closet. I just don't use it, but I, I wanna have the option to. Um, it is more expensive, so I was debating get, getting the one without it or getting it, but this is the sta uh, very, Sorry about that. Um, this is the uh, most popular size Louis Vuitton, I believe, because um, it's the middle size. So it's very functional. This is smaller. So this is the 25 monogram regular. This is the 30 um, bandolier. So can you see this difference? Hold on a second. Yeah, you can see it. Good. Okay, so here's the difference between the 25 and the 30. Okay, so you can also see the end. This is leather. I like that that's leather. It's much easier to grab, and it only has one zipper, and I like that the zipper has this on the end too, and so that's also much easier to grab. Um, and the zipper is nice and smooth. So this one doesn't have that, right? So I typically grab this with one hand and pull the zipper with the other. Um, but again, they're two zippers and a lot of times I just leave it open. I know that's bad, right? And then I'll just like, I'll put it here. I usually do like in the middle of my arm 
So like sometimes I'll do like in the crook, cr what is it, crick, crook? I don't know. I'll do it like right here in the fold of my arm, but a lot of times I'll just do it like in between my wrist and my elbow. Sometimes I even just take it like this, like a doctor bag, and I'll just hold it down like this, like I'll hold it at my side. It's whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, I do have a surprise for you guys. If you thought this was interesting, I have one more speedy. And yes, I have a problem, obviously. I am a speedy lover. Um, this other speedy is very special. Not only was it my very first speedy, but I got it from a friend and she amazingly sold it to me for $350. Yeah, that's what I said, $350. So I'm gonna go grab that for you, but it completes the size. It, it is the 30, hold on, I'm counting, 25, 30. So it's the 35 and it is in the classic monogram and you can see how it gets dark, how the patina gets dark quickly because she hardly used it and I've hardly used it. And it's, it's pretty dark. It's only a few years old. So, see that zipper, it's just not the most like smooth. Anyway, I'm gonna go grab that really quickly from my other room and might as well show it. Might as well do the full speedy review. Be right back. You guys, I'm sorry. I had to put lotion on my hands. It was so bad. It was so bad. I'm about to go get the Speedy. I just, at least it's an older Speedy and I'll, I'll, just, gra I'll just grab it weird. So when you see me grabbing it like by the body, you'll know it's because I'm just putting lotion on, but I can't. I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna watch this footage back and it's gonna be like so cringy, like ugh, cringy. Hopefully it's not like that, okay? I hope not. Forgive me, okay? Marty, this is already like a redo of the first one that I did. Like, ugh. am I gonna post that one? I spent so many hours editing. I don't know, I don't know. I might just like, like that video does have some good stuff in there, but I'm not proud of it. And that's the thing, like I'm tired of just putting out videos I'm not proud of. I wanna put out videos that I'm proud of and I wanna edit less. I think I've been editing like crazy um, and it's been causing like glitches behind the scene in my app. My phone is getting really hot and it like freezes and shuts down. It also uses up a ton more memory when I do that. And then when I go to upload, sometimes there's a glitch or multiple glitches in the upload in addition to it uh, taking extremely long time to upload. For instance, a 13 minute um, video upload has taken an hour and a half. And during that time, I've had no other internet on, no TV on, no internet on. Like, I want my connection to be pure. Like, I want 100% connection. And it's taken an hour and a half and it's so painful. I just had to vent about that. That was only one time. Normally they're not that bad, but normally they're still like over 30 minutes for it to, yep, at first it does this processing thing and then it uploads and then, oh no, it prepares for upload. I don't know if that's called something. And then it uploads and then it processes and they were like, okay, why did that have to take such a long time? But, you know, upload speeds are not the same as download speeds. So, 
I still have a regular like internet plan, um, but now that I'm doing this, maybe I wanna look at getting a higher upload speed. I think mine's currently at 10 Mbps. I ran a speed test report. You can go to speedtest.net and you can just run, uh, there are other websites too. You can just put in the uh, Google, you can just do speed test and I think Google will run it for you, which is great. Um, anyway, this is a really long video guys. Oh my God, it's 40 minutes. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, I'm gonna go get that speedy really quickly. Okay, here's the other speedy. This is the original speedy. Look how dark this is. It's it's kind of pretty, like. It's not dark yet, but they get black. Like I've, like they get black. People cover them with scarves so that they're, they um, don't, they're not exposed to the elements so that they um, either once they're like very blackened right here, they look dirty and kind of gross. Just like right here only. Um, I think people cover it after it turns like that um, or to prevent it. I don't know. You can also spray Apple Guard on it, which I do want to buy. So I might do. I might buy it, spray it on here, even though I've had this and I've used this before, but I don't think it's ever too late. So can you see the watermarks or something right here? This, my phone is probably not the best quality of video. I'm, Looking ahead to Black Friday, I'm gonna get a G7X Mark II. I'm so looking forward to that. I hope that it goes on sale somewhere for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. If you know about it, if you know of any sales going on for the Canon G7X Mark II, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so here we go. Speedy one, two, and three. This one is so big, it's like a piece of luggage. So not only like, I do like it, but the reason that I have three is that it was it's just a little too big, right? Um, so this was my first one that I purchased, pre-loved from my friend, as I was telling you. Um, this was the second one that I purchased because I figured I felt so guilty about buying a second one when I already had that one, but I wanted the smaller size. So when I did that, I got the darker color combination. Rather than having two of the exact same purse, I was at the point where like, that bothered me. Um, and then a year later, after like never using this, not never, but I, I don't know why, For I was just feeling weird about it. I was using this a lot more, this real big one, a lot more than this one. And so when I went back into Louie and I was talking to the um, sales associate about it, she was like, you know what? You might be a monogram girl. And I was like, huh, mm, am I? I had to think about it. I was like, you know what? Maybe I am. But so I ended up getting the smallest size because again, I was still like, well, I, if I'm like, the ultimate purse is still the speedy that I don't have. Maybe, maybe, be, and let me explain. It would be this size, which is the 30, in the uh, monogram, right? That's like the ultimate speedy. This is still great though, especially because I was telling you about what the functionality, it's so much um, easier and lower maintenance than this guy. So this really does win overall. Um, and I do have this cute little, oh, it's so little and like, I'll have to do another video. This one's almost 45 minutes, you guys. And I, like, I don't think I messed up. I mean, I almost fell off my chair, but that's probably like the most enjoyable part of this whole video for you guys. I think this is like my first video that I'm putting up without a single edit. Like, I am so happy about that. So, okay, I do have to say one thing. You know how I was complaining earlier, like, oh, I, this, I already filmed a what's in my purse and I spent so much time editing. I might put clips of that in here. Okay, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. I'm sorry. Like, editing is so annoying to begin with. Like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, <sighs> calm down. It's okay. It's 
just a video. Um, but practice, just practicing gets better because I knew the talking points, okay? So I, the first video, I wasn't like 100% sure what I was doing. So I had to cut out a lot of like awkward dead silences. This time when I'm filming it, it's coming easier. So it's not like that video was like pointless. Like some of the editing time, the, some hours, ugh, I hate that. I hate wasting time, let alone wasting hours with a plural. But um, I guess that I also am just getting better at editing. And I'm like, I could, I'm gonna use part of that video in something else. Like the first half is all about lighting. I know it's kind of random. I'm all over the place. I hope you guys like that. <laughs> please like my video. Please subscribe. Please comment below. Oh, follow me on Instagram, please. My Instagram name is Elizabeth Barry. Two, the number two. So E L I Z A B E T H B A R R I E and the number two. Okay, and that's on Instagram. And um, yeah, so here are my speedies. All right, I will do more videos on this. I will do makeup videos. I can do hair videos. I can do my um, more set design videos. And I am just enjoying this channel and I am glad that you guys are here hanging out with me. So thank you so much and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.